friends. Are you guys ready for some messy fun? So this is definitely a ruckus prep video, but at the very same time, I thought it would be fun. Okay, first, let me tell you what we're doing. Um, so these are all different colored foils, black, silver, this is a black and gold, kind of a rose gold, coppery color, um, blue and pink, and green and fuchsia. These little containers I got at the $1.25 store. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so I got to think. I got to think in my brain. Um, so what we're doing is, okay, I'm going to use these pouches. I was going to use these pouches, but they're not big enough. So these are going to have something else in them. But I'm going to use these pouches. And we do four grand prizes. So I'm making a pouch for each one. So each one is going to have one of these little, um, like you can do the little bit of water for a water slide decal in them. Or you can put gems and little add-ons in here to make it a little bit easier for you. Um, so each one will have one of these. I'm also going to make containers of these. Um, also in this one I'm putting these little these are the Super Shop Tweezers. Very sharp, but also have a little squisher on the end. So, I'm going to open each one of those containers. Each one of these little plastic bags. And I got these plastic cuticle pushers. Um, and I took a really tough grit file because they each had a little plastic kind of snag piece here. I'm assuming it's when they make them, then they break it, then it gets broke off there. And it was like a little catch. And I didn't want them to have a little catch. So, two of each of those in there. And then, one of my favorite pumice stone cuticle removers. Um, shoot, I should also have wax pencils, a wood cuticle pusher, and probably, um, some regular squishy pushers in here. Okay, pausing, be right back. Alright, I'm back. I can't find my wax pencils. Dang it, I know I have a whole thing of them. I just gotta find them. I will find them though, and I'll either add them to that, or I'll add them to a different one. It's okay. I mean, we we'll use all of these, right? Okay. Curse you, wax pencil. Okay, and then I also have to do these. I wonder. If the. I wonder if they're too long. I don't know how long those tweezers are. Let me see. You guys, I have such a mess going right now. Ooh, this will work better if they fit. Mm 
Might work. Oh, might be too short. Definitely too short. Okay, let's see. Let's do this. Come out of there, plastic ones. Okay, so. Oh, I didn't know you could. What? I didn't know you could flip that little pumice stone around. That's magic. Ooh. very cool okay all right so um i don't know if you've been to a ruckus before so uh, normally what i do is i have oh and then i can easily add my little wax um pencils when i find them so we'll put two of those Two of those, one of those, and this little kitty paw is for the tip of your tweezers or your nippers <laughs> to make it so cute. Okay, so now bring these guys over. And these get rid of the plastic is what I'm thinking just makes life easier okay so what we do is every um, buy three get one gets an entry in for the grand prizes we make four, I make four grand prize um, bags as we go. I say we because Mars and I are hosting, but I'm the one who will be, that you guys will see <laughs> on camera, adding prizes and such. So everything I do, I do in fours. So like um, a little earlier, I was on live and sassy crew okay look marcy sent these and i was like what am i gonna do with those but then today all the little mini flat irons came shush it was like we planned it perfectly you guys look oh my gourds <gasps> So normally, here's what I would do, you guys. I would put this little bag in separate from the flat iron um, and be like, you know, this is to put your flat iron in. Two dollars or two dollars. <laughs> it's two prizes, okay? That's what I would normally do. I got, hang on, I got hobi oil on there. Um, anyway, but instead, this time, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is just be able to be like two, four, six, like kind of to do things, um, not so much like in bulk, so to say, but like to save me doing things one at a time. So we're gonna make four sets of these bags. Um, each one of them is gonna have a pretty big number count, right? For how many prizes are going in, because they're not all going in individual so like um this is to the sharp point tweezers with the pusher and then the pumice stone but like that little bag i would just count as one because it's just like a little mix of little accoutrements and then um so that's three and then we've got eight colors is 11 two things of different um, mixed gems and flowers is 13 and then I'm gonna put in a nail polish remover pan for each one I can set those here and you can put in any polish remover you want in here you don't it's not pre-filled so that's 14 and then with the bag 15 so that'll make it super easy that I know that um, because there's times when I go live you guys 
and I'm putting in 150 to 200 prizes. So if I can know that these are each 15, each bag, and I'm doing one in each of them, that's 60 prizes going in, in those four bags. Does that make sense? Hopefully. For those of you that haven't been there, or for those of you that have, I know last year I was trying to do things like a bit where I was counting ahead also because otherwise you guys like um people are talking to me when I'm on live and it's just things get hectic and if I don't you know if I don't do some preparing I can miss count now the upside is I have nail friends um not that everybody is not my nail friends but if some that I have known for a couple years and they will send me a message and say you know um, you miscounted on this one this one got 11 and this got 10 and then I can know to make adjustments um, so that everybody's getting like the same so even though you know I'm considering these all the same obviously one is purple and one's red right like, so they're the same, but different colors, I guess. So, you know. Anyway, that's the story on that. I just restocked my little plastic bags because they do make my life easier. Oh, you know what else can go in here? Is these little trays. And these, um nail friend Don Root sent me because she ordered them and didn't realize they had come in like kind of a big pack of them she's like use these in the ruckus okay will do so there that puts us these little bags each is worth 16 so that's fantastic so then what I will do is put a um post-it note so that I know these are each worth 16. Okay, does that make sense? And our next step will be going through with all these little containers I got and filling each one with a different color of foil. Oh god, it's going to be messy, you guys. It's going to be so messy. Okay. Yay! <gasps> I'm loving this. Okay, now I want to see. I just got to check a couple more things as we prepare. And then I'm going to sit and fill foils and give you guys a rundown on some research I've been doing. Okay, so. And one of these. And one of these. And then, will it hold... Two, four, eight. It's got to hold ten of them. Will it hold ten? I think it will. Yeah, totally. Okay, hot dog. And so then, um, okay, so these are at 16. I will try to get these to 20 each. And I can already think of things that can go in there uh, to help that happen. So wax pencils being one of them. Because that definitely makes life easier. Um, I can put in those an out the door top coat. Because you can use that like as the base to stick the stuff on or the top. Um, to help it to seal it in like it can be used for both so I think that's a good idea what would that put us at 18 um, <laughs> I wonder you know what else I could probably do I do have big sets of decals also I could put those in and probably get these to like 25 each. 
that would be good. It, like, my goal is not to have to put each thing individually in because I just lose track too easy. So, you know. Sorry, that's how my old lady brain happened. These are awesome, you guys. This amount of foil that they are going to hold is going to be ridiculous. Like, seriously. It will, because this amount of foil will last me for the next 700 years. So, even this little cup of foil, if you use foil in every single manicure, you still would not ever run out, you guys. You know what else could go in here with this? I bet. Marcy makes custom top coats for the ruckuses. Like I've sent her a bazillion different colors of glitters and such. And then I send her the base for the top coats and the bottles. And then she does all the mad scientisting on her end because... I personally hate glitter. Like, I love it on my nails, but I don't like it in its natural environment at all. So, okay, put these in here. So I'm going to set these up, like, beside me so that as I go, I wonder if I should be wonder how many of those little plastic containers would fit um, in one of these bags. Like, I just don't want somebody's, you know, lid to pop off and have them have foil everywhere when they, when they get them. Okay, let's set these up. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see off to the side, but it's okay if you can't. Let me get one of these little bags, help me see. I feel like you could maybe put six in a baggie. Mm, I don't think I'm gonna be able to go too wide though, am I? Maybe. Yes. Okay, so two, four. Six would be ideal because then one could have six and then one could have a four because each one of them is going to get you know, eight different color glitter or foils, and then two things of like a couture mound. Eh? <gasps> you guys, it's perfect. Oh my gourds. Okay. That's perfect. So, each bag will get two, or each prize will get two, and then four. Six. I need two more bags. Does anybody else prepare like that where you want everything like counted out and ready to go or is that just me? I just don't know. I just like to know that everything's ready you guys. Alright. Okay, we should be set. All right, let's do these first because I feel like they're going to be, you know, a little bit easy. Okay, these containers are great, you guys. Dollar store in the craft section, a dollar twenty-five um, for a bag of eight of them. 
Von Plastic. Okay, so here's what I wanted to talk about now that I'm settled in. Um, the spring, um, spring fashion trends. So if you have used Color Street for a while, you'll know that, like, well, when they did the spring and fall release, they're um, heavily based on the clothing trends. And then now they've started where they do the mini releases that are based on nail trends. Cause like, you know, you can't, um, the trends to a certain degree are already like set in motion but not not quite enough like how glazed donut came out you guys like same idea okay but so I don't know an easy way to go about this you guys I'm like looking around me for something that might help make it easier because I know a tweezer yeah that tweezer didn't pick up anything actually this might work though. Yes. Okay. Um, so anyway, for the actual like spring book, that will be very much based off, um, fashion trends. Okay. So I did some research to find out what we could be expecting, right? For springtime. Like what are the um, fashion trends and then like what do we think we'll be seeing based on that so first of all the colors for spring are ruby cobalt blue and then black in the spring is big this year which personally I probably couldn't love more and then um, pink overall you guys is just super huge right now because they're doing a Barbie movie and there's this like as far as fashion stuff goes there's um Barbie core is a thing right now which is um whoops I gotta do the other side okay so let me do this uh oh I hear the cats knocking be right back Okay, I'm back. The cats are... Well, tartar came in, beef didn't. Um, okay, so pink. Like, I feel like we've had too much pink already. But you guys, it's not going to go away. People are living their best Barbie world. And there's this whole Barbie core thing going on. Which means people are going to be going... Even more pink crazy, which is probably not the best news in the world for Mercy and Corey. Nail friend Aaron. Like, I have a lot of friends, you guys, who don't really love pink. So, hopefully, they uh, <laughs> mix in some other good stuff with it. Well, and Cobalt Blue won't be my personal jam. But I know that will probably make some people happy. I'm all in for black and I'm actually all in for ruby, you guys. Like, I think that <laughs> these stupid things are staticking all over, you guys. I think that um, a, a red nail is the most, like, classy and... Um, like it is the epitome of a manicure like it can be worn casual it can be worn for fancy there's some kind of red that goes with every skin tone like 
for me, we should have more reds. The fact that we only have Crantastic as our red as a red glitter is just crazy pants to me. But that's just me. Okay, so anyways though, Ruby's gonna have its day, you guys. So I'm hoping for lots of good reds for those of us that like it. Mercy is a new red lover. She didn't used to think she loved it, and now she's found she does. So that's exciting because she's a very uh, neutral toned and dark tone wearer, you know? So it's good for her to get a few more options. And hopefully, Fa won't let us down. Okay, and then. A ruby cobalt pink the whole spectrum like candy floss pink which you know cotton candy pink to every pink is gonna be what we see you guys um, and then black of course which I'm just I'm just all in for like um mind oh what's it called mind matters is that what it's called it's the older foundation set and it's like a gunmetal. It's honestly one of the most underrated. And that and Pyrite. Pyrite's Life. Both of those are super underrated if you're asking me. Because um, they both give a lot of texture. So I think they're both underrated. I mean and they're both gone. So maybe we'll get something you know along those lines coming back. Okay, and then next up, denim. Like, and not just denim, but like denim with patches, denim with fray, denim with ties. So I was thinking, you know, how they could do that. And I thought um, patchwork denim would be super cute. Uh, but also, I was thinking how cute it would be because another thing that's super in I just got a text from Willow you guys they went out for Vietnamese food here's their food yum and then let me blow this up for you guys. There's Willow and Sasha. That's a beautiful artwork. Cute. Okay. Um, floral, but not just any floral, you guys. Big, like oversized floral is super in this year, this spring also. So denim with some little like floral kind of quilt 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 style patches how cute would that be um I don't know how they'll do how they would do like frayed denim but there's definitely a lot of options I think that they can do with denim now we have that blue jean baby style set not a fan myself of it I have one saved because I do have um, a Manny I seen that I would like to recreate and it's a Toy Story one and they use like the denim and the plaid to represent Woody so I have one saved specifically for that but it's not something that I would ever you know find myself probably just going for I guess I don't know I don't feel like that was a super popular one I think that every time I see it it feels like it's worn like to represent something you know what I mean like some kind of themed Manny and that's okay I mean I'm glad with, that we have those kind of options I just kind of always feel like those are things that should be done as a mini release because they're not something um, you know that people are gonna go back to over and over for example say night terror you know 
that's such a stunner and people will just go back to that always I mean it is retired now but still you get the idea and then um oh they got to eat outside tonight with their dog <laughs> that's fun um and then I do feel like the seasonal releases are gonna help in that matter as far as like because you'll be getting you know 16 sets that are very fitting to the fashion trends for that season right and so those 16 sets are only going to be around for um three months until the next season so i do think that's kind of a good way to go you know like breaking plaid which you guys know i loved but um not something i felt like needed to necessarily be around for six months right which is normally how things how things would go or even maybe if they just do like a small denim release that could be really fun like maybe um an overlay that has like you know how the stitching is very like denim stitching is very recognizable that would be fun okay something else super super in this year and which has been coming now um more like off the runways and into day to day is sheer stuff i think the jelly nails that we have coming up are kind of a good kickoff to that but you guys know how much i love a sheer set stuff that can be played with by putting something else under it to maybe adjust the colors a little bit or let a pattern show through you guys those jelly nails when we get them are going to be so bonkers good for reasons like people don't even understand right now for one being that um let's say you put down that new black flower overlay that's coming out and then put one of those jelly nails over it where it would normally be the black of an overlay it's now going to be just like a really rich version of whatever color you put over it. So if you put the jelly pink one over it, uh, where it's black, it's just going to look like this deep, deep jewel rich color, you know, because it won't turn it black. It won't make the jelly go black. It'll just make it look like deep enriched does that make sense at least a little bit i hope um okay and then another one you guys which <laughs> i am in for this hardcore is crochet and that has been getting really big like crochet and quilting slash knitting um you could give me the overlays of that and i would not feel bad for two seconds like give me the like granny square affghan oh i would take it i would take it and that is really big right now and coming up for spring also um like i said the floral but big floral not like not like the dainty little um ditzy flower and dizzy flower type stuff that it was not that kind of you know uh, tiny stuff but big big floral which I feel like the groovy release represents that pretty well um and nightwear is super popular meaning like nightgowns you guys so um again that plays well with the sheer but also the lace and the black big time so honestly like if you don't want to give us back the lace overlay then girl you redo it because now is the time if ever there was a time that lace overlay needs to come a lace overlay not not specifically that one doesn't have to be a whoops it doesn't have to be a revival you guys these are super thin i don't know if you've seen if you've been around long enough i have played with these little um cut pieces a bunch before whoops i almost missed one and then 
I ended up with two of these. So I was like, ooh, I should use one. And now I'm thinking I should just use the whole thing since I have two. Um, okay, and then also this one, you guys, another one I think is going to be great. Pinstripes, come on. <gasps> Let's do some navy with like a little soft gray pinstripe through it. Ooh, that would be good. I mean, pinstripes of all, all times I'm in for. Um, and I think they will be, that'll be an easy one for in general for people to like. It also makes me think it would be a great time for a new between the lines that is more of like a thin um, line drawing style that could represent the pinstripes. Don't you think that would be great as far as I'm concerned? And then, well, one that I don't really care, but others might, is like wearing sportswear out. So, I don't know how like sportswear type stuff translates for us. You know what I mean? Onto nails. <coughs> I don't know if that just means like more you know sports overlays I guess I just don't know you guys I just don't know how that would translate nail wise for us and then one that I'm a super fan of whoops is sunset ombres I'm in take it I needed a sip. It's a lot of talking, you guys. Um, Sunset Ombre. Sunset Boulevard is a top 10 set for me. Like, a for real top 10 set. You know, I say all the time, like, I love this or whatever. But it's one of those old ones that I still just make a point to. If I see it, I grab it. Because it's just stunning. Stunning. And that was one that was designed by a stylist. So, that's fun. Um, and then, maybe, the best part for me, not, uh, probably maybe the best part for most people, but Melissa's Manny's and more, cover your ears, because this won't be the best part for you. The biggest thing that's in, and if you've seen this year's prom dresses, you'll probably already be able to guess it but sparkle sparkle is super super big for spring um super big like metallic stuff which i feel like we've kind of already been seeing a bit of that as far as the nails go like with the silver drip set so that's gonna be that's either going to be a love it or hate it, you guys. <laughs> but I think most people will be kind of happy with that. I don't know. What do you think? Um, so what's your favorite? What's your favorite out of the clothing trends that we'll probably see, will be seen in that little spring pamphlet? And I don't know what to call that, you guys, the seasonal mini releases. Let's call them inserts because they are going to give us like physical paper copies of them that are supposed to like be able to insert into your catalog so let's just go with that so um of the spring insert where we'll get 16 new sets those are the things they'll be basing them on and of course you know um it's not a hard hard stop oh i forgot one i skipped it because i wanted to leave it to the end because I want to show you guys what I think it will be, how I think they could utilize it, but I want to show you with a pen and paper. Let me put lids on these. <gasps> how fun are these, you guys? Oh, here's a couple of random sparkles going in with that person's flowers. And these are super sturdy. I love it. Um. I 
Let me answer Julie. Sorry, guys. Um, here's my favorite one. Let me get my... I need a paper, you guys. Keep me able to see it on. This one, I think, will work. Okay, so here it is. And I know at first you guys are going to be like, what? But I think this is going to be brilliant. The um, trend is draped, um, like side scrunched type stuff. And here's how I think it could work. And I think it would be brilliant. Is if they took, uh, let's draw our nail-ish. There's our nail. Oh, I shouldn't go with pink because there's so many pink haters, but girl, I do not doubt we'll end up seeing this in pink. Okay, so let's say the nail as a whole is this pink color, okay? Pretend that's all colored in. And then, in darker shades of pink, not just one shade, but because that's what I have, that's what we're getting to see there will be able to be the lines coming over to make it look gathered slash draped and it can come you know all the way from like midway where it's like you know and darker colors to make shadows and then really if you want to make it pop in on a couple nails put a little couple flowers down in that gather or just do the gather but either way you guys I see that I can see it coming and the other thing I forgot to mention that is very in for spring is hearts and the, I another reason why I forgot to mention it was because I was um want to save it to the end because I feel like getting our black heart overlay for valentine's day is a good like um you know and that sold out over and over again it's a good way for them to test things a little bit like okay our hearts really in whoops no don't put two in there stacy damn it um our hearts really in and if they are like are they in for the general population because you guys there's a big difference right like there is a big difference between um what's in for the people walking the runway and having to wear stuff whether they want to or not versus what's in for the people who are picking up a new shirt when they grab groceries at target you know what i mean like um, their demographic so to say like the people who are actually shopping them are they looking to wear hearts are they looking to wear um, pinstripes and crochet and that kind of thing yeah I think so I do think the denim is going to be a harder sell unless they really really do a good job on it and I don't necessarily know what that like what the good job is I don't know like okay when I say draped fabric I can think of a whole bunch of different ways you know what else they could do is they could do an overlay where they use some of that kind of gray shading like they did with the DIY kit from Halloween and make the drape like that so you could add it to anything you wanted to get kind of that uh, draped look or side scrunch type look that would be super good idea um but again it comes back to like is this um a trend for the runway or is this a trend for the masses because those are very different things you know and the sheer stuff has been a trend and the nightwear like wearing um like a nighty basically over 
like a satin nighty over a tank top and a pair of leggings or jeans or something like that that has been a trend for quite a fashion trend for quite a while um not necessarily one to the masses but now it is like once that stuff um spends a couple years okay like it's gonna hit the runway and then maybe influencers or um movie stars or whatever will start wearing it and then you know everybody else will start wearing it so once it hits the masses and if the masses you know like it and continue to wear it then that's when you know color streets actually gonna make it into a thing for us okay that's a ton of oh my god don't just blow it Stacy I'm gonna be I'm gonna be foiled you guys um So yeah, but like what's going to be trendy for the masses, you know, and even here's the thing, like, so those Aurora nails that came out, um, like it might be a trend that a small population was interested in, like a small population of color street users, uh, but not to the masses. Or there might be a whole bunch of masses that love it and would use it, but don't use Color Street, right? So there's that fine line of finding, like, what those of us that already shop will use and is trendy and might pull in some new Color Street users, but is, are they going to be able to continue producing stuff? Um, that's gonna keep those new users happy so it's that's like kind of the breakdown of it I guess or how I see it now again like I told you guys in one of my last videos is that I have no effing clue this is me you know telling you how I think it works just based on like general business stuff and um, what I watch happen over the past like four years of how they do stuff and then um, you know different stylists will talk about it and like you watch videos on YouTube and um, stylists that have quit and stuff like just there's a lot of people like you'll hear stuff after the fact that's how I've learned to make my you know what I feel are pretty educated guesses for the most part you know for the most part you guys also feedback from us as customers makes a big difference too so make sure you're always hitting up the ideas at color street because that really does make a big difference for us um so there's mine you guys tell me what are some of your favorites the draping I feel like is gonna be a big favorite of mine um the black and ruby are super big favorites of mine the pinks will depend because I definitely do like some pinks just not all um the lace yes I'm so in it the crochet super in pinstripes super in uh, now would I rather have pinstripes as an overlay rather than like a pinstripe set yes personally for me basically any pattern I would I'd rather have it as an overlay you guys because then I can use it with whatever colors I want I can turn it like a wonky direction if I want for example the plaid um, overlay I just really prefer it when it's kind of kitty wampus you know not a straight on plaid so I guess for me 
if we're going heavy into patterns, I would really prefer to see it as an overlay, but you know, that's not probably how it'll go or my, like that's not my call, you know. There's just, that's just my opinion on it. So, but you guys tell me below what you think is your, like what you would most like to see or off the ones that I listed, what you think you would love. I don't know. I mean, I'm all in for more sparkles. I just do hope that we don't come around to like another era of chunky glitter. I don't really love those big chunky glitters. So I really love the more sparse glitter they've been doing lately. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. All right, you guys. So I'm going to continue working through these. And then my next video which I think I'm just going to run like we'll have a lot of these preparation videos for the next week or two because I got to get stuff done you guys even though they haven't gave the date the standard has always been the week of St. Patrick's Day and um last year they had to push it back a week because they did not release enough St. Patrick's Day stuff and people went crazy and they wound up having to make more so it pushed everything back but usually in general the releases the spring one is um like the Tuesday before the actual St. Patrick's Day so we'll see all right hope you enjoyed watching it guys and we've got many more of these coming the next one, we're going to talk about spring nail trends, and I am very excited. Talk to you soon.